They are controlling everything. In some sense, she is, but she is also the colony's servant, doing their bidding. She's an egg-laying machine. In her prime, if conditions are perfect, she can put between 1,500 and 2,000 eggs each day. When for any reason she's not as good as the colony believes, she should be, perhaps she is getting too old or isn't successful enough, she can be replaced in an issue of under 14 days. The only difference between a worker bee and the queen bee is how she's fed in the larval phase of her evolution. All workers and queens are feminine. They hatch from fertilized eggs laid by the ghost queen. If the queen has been lost, perhaps something, or stung by a helpless beekeeper, the entire colony is aware of the fact in a few hours. Because honeybees discuss food involving each other, and as a matter of course, they all receive some of their pheromones, sometimes referred to as queen material, the queen bee produces. Should they stop receiving enough of the material because the queen has died, is too old, or hive is too crowded, a response to create a new queen is triggered in the workers. The workers pick an egg or a very young larva that they have decided to develop into queen bees. Often they select numerous prospects and increase the number of queen bees simultaneously. Food secreted from a gland at the nurse bee's mind for a couple of days. The larva is subsequently weaned into a mixture of nectar and pollen or honey, occasionally called bee bread. The queen, however, is not weaned off the royal jelly, however. Workers continue to feed this exceptionally nutritious food to the larva for approximately five times. She gains weight promptly, her size multiplying repeatedly. The beeswax mobile in which she develops has to be enlarged and stretched to accommodate the bigger queen larva. Approximately seven days after the egg was initially set, the queen cell is capped over and sealed in the larva pupits, appearing on or about the day. If the queen was made since the hive was overcrowded and only before the queen arrives, the queen leaves the hive along with about half the worker bees and flies away to get a new home. This is what's called a swarm. If the weather conditions are not high enough for your crowd to leave, employees prevent the new queen bee from emerging until the weather improves. Having emerged from her cell, the new queen bee remains in the hive for a couple of days. Fighting every other queen bees that were created together with her into the death, the queen leaves the hive about four to seven days following emergence, depending on climate conditions. She flies in circles to orient herself, then off to locate males, drones to partner with. 20 feet over the ground, the virgin queen will mate with 10 to 12 unique drones, which expire after mating. The queen could make several breeding flights over the upcoming few days and never abandon the hive again unless it's using a swarm. Hive with sufficient sperm kept lasting for the remainder of her life, she begins to lay eggs, measuring each cell as she does and fertilizing eggs in the smaller employee cells. She puts unfertilized eggs at the more giant cells that eventually become drones. This is how a parasitic becomes a queen bee. There are three varieties of honeybees, the queen, feminine, and male. The lifespan description below will help you realize how they develop. The development cycle is different in queen, men, along with the females, and 24 times for the males come outside. It takes about 21 days for the workers and just 16 days for the queen. There is, as a rule, only one queen per hive. The ingestion of royal jelly by female bees makes a favorite female bee grow into a new virgin queen. The females make a brand new queen bee after she expires or the colony grows bigger or if she becomes old. Immediately after the fresh virgin emerges, she takes a romantic trip to mate as soon as you can and starts to lay eggs. A queen may live around three to four decades, and the drones usually perish. If not driven out after they mate, the worker bees have the shortest life to endure a few months just in winter, and summer may live longer. Now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.